Come on then, who's going to be coaching me then? What we're doing here, Rupert, we're going to scale the bread and mould the bread into a loaf shape. Okay. And young Craig will show you how it's done. Come on then, Craig, press is on now, mate. Yeah. You do one, I'll do one. Teamwork, teamwork. You go that one, I'll go that one. You go that one, I'll go that one. We're ahead of the machine. Come on, machine. I'm ready. Come on. I've never been this accurate with my pass before. So tell me, explain to me then about what's going on and how okay. long have they been in for? Right, the, the lads are making the, the brown balm. They've been baking for about 11 minutes. And we've got Tom and Jack, two of our level three apprentices. If you feel that bread roll there, it's got a lovely light crisp crust. Yeah. And you feel it's lovely and soft. Within an hour when that cools, that will be a lovely soft brown roll. It's non-stop? Yes. It's like in, out, in, out. Why did you choose this job then? Why did you try and get do training this way? Well, it's very rewarding, you know. There's not many companies here that will give you the amount of time that I get here to do me apprenticeship while doing me work. Did you feel the pressure of getting those ingredients just yes, right? Yes, at first, yeah. But as the days progressed, you just got the hang of it. You knew where you were with it. Yeah. Split. Yeah. Go across the top, go across the top. Go across the top, go across the top. And they're going to go the right way round. Whoa, I need it. Oh, I didn't get the right way round. Sorry. I think I just... No, I haven't got it. I'm a bit clumsy, aren't I? I'm a little bit clumsy. How important is it, though, that hands-on experience? Is that oh, yeah. vital? Is it? You've got to have the feel. Yeah. It is about the feel. I've done some stuff there, and it's about <laughs> the feel. But the volume? We can identify those individuals with those vocational skills, and that's what we want to develop. My father taught me how to bake. You know, I left school with not the best qualifications in the world, but with a passion for what I wanted to do. I went away and did an apprenticeship at a different business to learn different methods. Yep. Then I studied at night school. I got the craft and the skill first, and that's what all the guys here have done. Try a hand, a thousand an hour? <laughs> yes. Right, now 15,000 an hour. Yeah, it's a bit better, isn't it? Amazing, <laughs> amazing. I'm gonna take this over and bake it later. <laughs> we'll give you some bake, don't worry, Rupert. Yeah. I think today's been one of those amazing days where you just understand that a business is about the people, and if you get the right people and have the right attitude, anything's possible. If we want to grow our business, we've got to have trained bakers, and ultimately, the best way to do that is a vocational qualification.